At the same time, finding a vaccine is a step closer. Pfizer's candidate is fueling hopes it could be rolled out this year, but a setback for a strong contender, a Coronavac developed by China's Sinovac. Brazil has suspended clinical trials after an adverse incident involving a volunteer recipient. And in Singapore, Arcturus is expecting to start distributing a vaccine early next year. For a closer look, Professor Wang Lin Far from Duke NUS Medical School joins us now. So, Professor Wang, let's just talk about Pfizer's, uh, you know, positive early vaccine data. How convincing uh, is it and how excited should we be? I think it's uh, as convincing as we, you know, hear from the news. I mean, of course, as a scientist, we will need to wait for peer-reviewed, you know, a, a scientific paper. But I think from what I see on the report, I think it's very convincing. Basically, at least 90 percent of the vaccinees are protected. So it's very exciting because, you know, from the WHO to all the, you know, a, a national leaders that are thinking that, uh, the bar is 50%. If we have a 50% efficacy, most countries will adopt vaccine. 70% will be considered good. 90% is extremely good. Mm. So, Professor, how then does Pfizer's vaccine compare to the one developed by Duke and US and Arcturus Therapeutics? Yeah, it's very interesting because we are using, you know, the Duke uh, uh, effort is led by Professor Wee from our department. So the Duke vaccine is in principle very similar to the Pfizer one. The difference is that uh, the Pfizer one needed two, do uh, two uh, uh, doses and the Duke one we are hoping with Actorus is uh, replicating mRNA. So the preliminary results just released in uh, uh, two days ago suggest that uh, it's uh, effective and uh, it may have the uh, possibility of using one dose. Now, this is, I have to say, it's a small-scale phase one, two trial. If we have the results going all the way to phase three, and if one dose is good enough, that will be a huge difference. As you can imagine, when you do mass vaccination, one dose versus two dose, it's not only a cost difference, but logistics and everything. Yeah, so it will be a big difference. So for these two vaccines uh, with positive results, what's going to happen next? Uh, for the uh, Pfizer one, it's clear they're already into 44,000, uh, 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 you know, individuals. So, I mean, the, the media reports are saying they're most likely going to seek this uh, emergency approval from FDA next week or within weeks. For the one that actors that Duke and ES are developing, we need to wait for at least the, uh, in the results coming from the large scale phase three trial. So, uh, you know, we are a few months behind. But if we can beat them by, you know, using one dose, then I think uh, uh, it's still a, a, a big win. But, you know, it's three months, maybe three months behind. OK, three months behind the Pfizer one. But how soon can we then expect a vaccine to be rolled out uh, to the general population? Yeah, so the general population, you have to define the mass vaccination, everybody, or the general population, the frontline, like healthcare workers. So... I think, you know, uh, Tony Fauci, you know, uh, from NIH was on the TV saying that as early as end of this month or early next month, December, I think that the front line, the high risk group may get a vaccine. But for mass vaccination, like, you know, if every citizen in Singapore want to have a vaccine, I think that we have to wait at least you know, towards the middle to late first quarter 2021. Hmm. Um, let's just go back to this other story reported about Brazil, you know, halting trials for a Sinovac uh, vaccine. That's considered quite um, a big setback, uh, isn't it? Well, that's uh, it's a setback, but in vaccine trials that happens, right? We remember in the, just a, a month ago, you know, the AstraZeneca went through the same kind of ordeal. So when you have a severe side effect, you know, you just have to halt your vaccine trial. Then the investigation will continue to say, is that a vaccine-induced severe adult effect or it's a by chance? Is that in the vaccination group or is it in the placebo group? So uh, from the past experience, you know, that pause usually lasts one to two weeks. And so we will see for this one in Brazil whether, you know, a severe uh, adverse effect is a one-off and whether it's related to the vaccination. It's too early to call. One last question for you. The United States has approved its first antibody treatment. Does this mean it's safe to use in other countries? 
Well, I think, you know, uh, the same approval that would be, if it's safe in USA, it will be safe uh, in other countries. So, but in terms of the efficacy, you know, I think it's still being debated whether the monoclonal antibody is going to be the frontline therapeutics or, you know, there are other uh, possibilities that in the pipeline, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for speaking to us this evening. Professor Wang Lin Fa from Duke NUS Medical School.